Welcome back to Good Day Sin Law. Pam Ballot joins us today from the Sin Law Community Action Committee to tell us more about the Home Water Assistance Program. Pam, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for such a short notice of letting us come on and share always, this information. <laughs> always, And this is very important information yes. for a lot of people in the whole community area. Tell us about this. Yes. Well, we are so excited. Uh, Mayor Dupree in Pineville and his staff um, have joined the fight in getting these water bills paid for uh, citizens in Central Louisiana, Red Peace Parish. Um, we are doing an outreach in Pineville, um, trying to get this money spent as fast as we can. We will be at Keys Park on tomorrow, accepting walk-ins. Just come in, bring your documentation, and we're gonna get you some assistance. Fantastic. Yes. Now tell me, uh, who should come to this at Keys Park? Like, who qualifies for the assistance? The Keys Park event is gonna be for anyone who has um, City of Pineville water and sewer services. So as long as you um, meet the income requirement, and there is an income requirement, but it is very liberal, so we're just asking if you think you may qualify, come and let us verify whether you do or not. But it is anybody who has City of Pineville water and sewer services. Do people need to bring anything with them? Yes, they will need to bring in a uh, picture ID or driver's license, social security cards for all household members. They will need to bring in current proof of income if they receive social security benefits, VA, pensions, they can bring their award letters. Um, if it's employment income, we would need the last month's worth of check stubs. So with this being made, we would need them to bring in their April's check stubs. And then of course, they make sure they bring in that water uh, sewer bill from City of Pineville. Okay, and that's great. It. That is fantastic. Yes. And so I know Pineville is not the only community participating no. in this. Tell us who else is participating. No, we also have um, Town of Glenmora who recently signed on, and we will be in Glenmora on Friday. So the citizens of uh, Glenmora can bring in their water bills um, when we're there on Friday. We'll be at the uh, Glenmora Town Hall, and we'll okay. be there from 9 to 2, 9 to 12, I'm sorry, and they would need to bring in the same documentation. Okay, good yes. to know. Then we also have Town of Boyce, Town of Chaneville, um, the town of Boyce, they will be at um, the old Boyce Town Hall on Friday from 9 to 12 as well. Okay. So they, you know, will come there and then town of Chaneville can join us in LeCount, which is where we're going to be on Friday for that area. Uh, we'll be at the old LeCount um, High School. Okay, fantastic. So this is helping a lot of people yes. all in the community too. Are there any other cities or towns that have participated? Well, every... Um, uh, th those are the only ones that we were able to get signed up. Um, City of Alexandria, of course, uh, was the first uh, water company to sign up, and we have helped a considerable amount of their customers. But we do still have funds available. We will for sure have funds available through May uh, 31st. So if you have that water bill and you have not received this assistance, please contact our office 318-314-3471 or you can come out to one of the outreaches in the areas where uh, we will be. Unfortunately, we're not doing one for Alexandria because we do have a requirement that we have to reach our outlying community. So this is what the focus on this, this um, outreach event is going to be, reaching out to those outlying communities who may not be able to access our offices um, in Alexandria. Okay, but even if you are, let's say, in Alexandria, you can still call your office, yes. you can go by, and yes. it does not hurt to ask, but you have to do right. it before the 31st? Before the 31st for the water assistance program. Um, what's happening is across the state, um, they realized that it was very difficult to get the vendor signed up, so it was uh, created some difficulty getting uh, the money spent. Um, so they're going to pull the funds to reassess and see who still needs it. So we're trying to get out there and we're trying to show them, hey, Sin Law Community Action, we'll spend this money, just give us the time we need to spend it. But until then, until we get a decision from them, we're going to try to make as big of an impact as we can. That's fantastic. And there's no gimmick here. It's just no. grant money that will be left on the table Absolutely. if no one uses it, right? Right. And it will go back to the federal government. And we just, you know, this money was sent for Rapids Parish. It's unfortunate that we could not get as many vendors as we needed to to get signed up. However, we are grateful for the ones who did. And we're going to go out with a bang. We're going to make sure that we get <laughs> as much of it spent as we possibly can. And do you have to come in person? What if you uh, come and bring all the information for on behalf 
behalf of a family member. Yeah. If you cannot come yourself, just write a little note for that individual saying that you authorize them to handle this business for you and we will certainly get it taken care of. Fantastic. Yes. Well, remind us about the times that y'all will be in the different places throughout this week. On Tuesday, I mean, oh, sorry, Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday, we will be at Keys Park from 9 to 2. Uh, we'll be there from 9 to 2 except in walk-ins, no appointments. Uh, Friday, we will be at Town of Ball Town Hall. We'll be in Town of Boyce's Town Hall, the old building on Londonberry. We'll be in LeCount at the old uh, LeCount High School, and then at Glamora, we'll be at the Town of Glamora uh, Municipal Building. Fantastic, and no matter where you are, if you have questions, what's that number that people can call? They always can call 318-314-3471. And if you don't get an answer, leave a message. I promise you, we will get to you. Our phones ring off the hook from 7.30 until 9 o'clock at night sometimes. Oh, wow. Um, because we do have the ability to work from home sometimes, and we have our phones connected to our computers. And, you know, sometimes I'm at home and I hear my phone ring. I'm just like, oh, that's my work phone. <laughs> so, yeah, they call, leave a message. We will have someone. Our receptionist is, is very good at returning calls. So, Okay, great. Well, people can call and uh, see y'all come out yes. uh, before May 31st. Before May 31st. Okay. And if you're unsure if you have not received the water assistance um, yet, call us. We'll confirm, verify, and have you bring your information in. Easy enough. Easy enough. <laughs> Thanks so much, Ms. Yes. Fam. We Thank appreciate you. it, of course. And we'll be right back with more Good Day Sandlot right after this break.